You are making it up. Noah Bloomer is a young, talented singer who really knows how to sing with all her heart and soul. Body and soul. Noah is a second-generation student at Israel's Ramon School of Music. Her mom, a professional saxophone player, was in the music school's first graduating class. You know, she played in the Israeli Jazz Festival when I was in her womb, so it's something that I, I was born to it. Noah is now auditioning for a scholarship at Boston's famous Berklee College of Music. It's about love, actually, and I just wanted to reflect what I feel right now, what I'm going through. Every year, Berklee representatives come to Ramon looking for the most talented students who will get to finish their bachelors of music in Boston. We have students every year that are auditioning, transferring credits. It's a, it's a great great exchange of music, ideas, and great talent from Israel. I'm going to play an improvisational piece on violin. Close to 60 music students are auditioning for the coveted spots at Berkeley, including Yazid Shachnini, an Arab-Israeli violinist from Nazareth. Take the beauty from jazz, the beauty from classical music, the beauty from African rhythms, the beauty from the old uh, Arabic melodies, and somehow put them together. Yazid is the youngest of three brothers, all of whom are musicians, and he credits his parents for instilling him with the confidence to pursue a career in music. Let's say a huge step of, of them, like seeing me maybe go to, go to the States and leave like home. <laughs> Coming to Israel to scout talent is a yearly highlight for Marek Dikta, Berkeley's assistant director of admissions, who performed at a small concert with Ramon students. Berkeley prides itself on being very international. We have about 40% of the student body, which uh, is international. And as you can imagine, uh, every one of these students brings their own cultural influence. And Dikta credits the Israeli students for their focus and perseverance. I always uh, think that level of maturity of these students is high. And, uh, you know, I think it comes uh, from the fact that they grow up in an environment that requires them to be mature. A lot of them a completed army service. Emily Francis, I-24 News.